Hey there everyone, I'm Polkyfanoid, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, with this new character with us, we snuck out of school. We befriended a monkey that juiced bubblegum. And we rode on a Loch Ness Monster wannabe. Only in the Mother series, that's for damn sure. <laughs> And today, our trek to three to save our friends continue. But before we can go anywhere, we need to go through this cave. Which is a very easy little cave. Welcome to my modest dungeon. Brick Road. This is Brick Road. This is a actually quite fun little uh, labyrinth of some sort. But uh, there's some pretty annoying enemies too though. But uh, it shouldn't really be that big of a problem. Like this guy, the Mad Duck. Now this guy, yeah, this guy can uh, steal your PP. That's really the worst thing they can do, but since uh, since uh, Jeff don't have any PP, and okay, I know how that sounds, but it's, it's true. <laughs> and of course they can also peck at your eyes like the uh, crows can. But except for that, nothing special whatsoever. No big deal. They do give this an experience though, and thanks to that, Jeff is now level 6. IQ up by 1, luck by 1, HP by 3. I'm not complaining, I suppose. But we have a person box, and in it we have a insect spray. Which... Is there a, ever even an insect in here? I don't think so. But... Oh well, doesn't really matter, we can use it later on, I suppose. <laughs> and yes, those were the same rowdy mice that we met up with in uh, the giant step, so don't, don't really matter. But here we get a bread roll, which I don't really care much for, because I don't really have much space in my inventory, but it doesn't really matter, it's a free heal nonetheless. But of course, we are playing an RPG, so we need fake treasure boxes, or, well, gift boxes. Though this guy doesn't really look like a gift box at all, but I guess it was inside it. I don't know, this is the worthless protoplasm. This guy isn't really that bad either, and he just missed. And he also dodged, that was an incredibly pointless first turn. <laughs> yeah, of course, they can call for help, that's really it though. But uh, thanks to that, this place is pretty good if you actually want to level up a little bit. But as you see, wow, he's not hitting me at all. Wow, but they're dodging though, so it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> they have a little bit of a attack stat, but... Their HP is not really that high, though their luck is uh, decent, so they will be dodging a little bit now and then. But uh, just continue to bash them, or you can of course also use uh, a ball rock or a bomb if you want to. And it really helps that he actually just uh, confused himself. That's That was very nice of him. <laughs> but they also give you cookies, so... Yay! Free cookies, I suppose. I'm gonna use that right away, actually, since that little bastard did a little bit HP on me, so, uh, why not? Up here, though, we have another present box, and this one is actually real. We get a broken iron in it. Which is, of course, a, uh, item that Jeff can fix in his sleep. He is very skilled that way. <laughs> but yeah, the signs that we find around here are all, uh, signed by a guy called Brick Road. And we will be meeting him. Pretty soon, but I really like that sign though. Watch out for falling, uh, well, things. And then this guy just comes falling down. Very, very clever. <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Indeed it will. Even though this is a very short, very easy little uh, maze dungeon, I still like it. <laughs> Jeff was not able to use PSI. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I mean, Jeff was my main PSI attacker. I mean, wait. You could have done that to the monkey, you know, and it would have the same effect. <laughs> Oh, well that was nice of you. I shot his head off and he gives me a fresh egg. Awesome! <laughs> of course, as the, uh, like with the fresh egg back in uh, Happy Happy Village, if you keep it over time, it will uh, 
turn into a chicken, but... Or a chick, or whatever. But I don't really care, it's a decent healing item, so I'm gonna use it to that instead. But in this present box, we get a croissant. Very, very nice. I really approve of that. Very good healing item, which we already know, I think. So I don't really know why I said that. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. Jeff is now level 7, offense up by 1, IQ by 1, HP by 2. I really like that he is getting so much IQ. I really need that because I have a couple of frosted or uh, broken items already that I really want to fix. There we go. Okay, if you're gonna get at least one of the present boxes in here, I highly recommend you get this one. Because in it, you get a stun gun. Or you would, if you didn't have a full inventory. Okay then, thank you for that game. <laughs> the stun gun is of course a new weapon for Jeff, and it's pretty good, so definitely get it. And of course we have a phone here if you really want to save your game, so, you know, just to be sure, I'm gonna do it. Thankfully you, uh, you'll call straight to Maxwell, you don't need to, okay I'm gonna choose you, 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 and blah blah blah. So you just, hey, Maxwell's lab, save your game, thank you. <laughs> Way to go, please come back again. Brick Road. Okay. So how about we actually meet that Brick Road guy? Because it's this guy right here. Maybe it was too easy. Hmm. Well, my name is Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Adenaut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man! The first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Yes, I would actually. Thankfully, Mr. Brick Road is very nice to you and he will actually let you stay for free, heal you up and everything. Now, what he said about becoming Dungeon Man, remember that for later because yes, we will be meeting up with Brick Road in the future. But for now, we have another little cave to go through. Thankfully though, this one is even shorter and even easier. And yeah, we also have attack slugs in here. Still as pathetic as always, but also, they give good experience, so I am not complaining whatsoever. And Jeff is also actually able to one-shot them, so that is very nice. I just wish I would be able to actually just touch the enemies and then they would automatically die, but I guess that's a little bit too much to ask. Doesn't really matter though, I mean... You see, <laughs> that new weapon on Jeff there is very, very helpful. He, well... The, the monkey helped a little bit, but he's able to one-shot those uh, rowdy mice now. That's very nice. And with that, Jeff is level 8. Oh baby, offense up by 3, defense up by 1, speed by 2. Wow, that's, that's rare to see. <laughs> oh baby, guts up by 3. Very nice. Actually, well, it's, it's nice anyway. Vitality up by 1, a IQ by 1, luck by 1, HP by 10. Heck yeah. I'll gladly take that. But, here we have a hamburger. A free hamburger? Just in the middle of a cave. I am not complaining, even though I should re... I, I would not really eat that, but... It's still quite nice. Let's see. No, I could not actually get away from you. Too bad. Oh! Well then. I'll gladly take that, though. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> now, I don't really know why they actually put this cave in here, because it's just a very short little area just to pad out time a little bit, I suppose, but I'm not really complaining that much. As you'll see later on, this cave actually is important for one thing. And that is... Actually, I'm gonna spoil it right now. This is actually another My Sanctuary location. But we... Oh! Oh, that was the monkey. Oh, never mind. I thought the, uh, the slug got a smash attack. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we will not be able to come here until much later in the game. Or, not really much later, but at least a little bit later. But at least they show it to us, I guess. God, I love those attack slugs. I almost got 100 experience out of that. That is fantastic! <laughs> and for those wondering, yes, I have gotten my coffee today. Actually, quite a lot of it. If you haven't already gotten that, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was actually a back attack. That's surprising. Okay then, I am not complaining, because these guys, once again, are very annoying. Thankfully, one shot, thanks to the monkey, at least. Oh, 94 experience, thank you, and a cookie, but... Oh, 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 I thought my inventory was full, but I guess not. But, more importantly, Jeff is now level 9. This is going by fast. 
IQ up by 1, HP by 2, okay, I'm not complaining. After that last level he got, yeah, that is uh, not surprising to be honest. But I'm actually gonna use that cookie right away because in that present box there, after I get my ass handed to me by a mushroom that is, nope, Jeff is actually able to one-shot those mushrooms by his, on his own too. Awesome! But yeah, as I said, in this present box we get a cheap bracelet. We actually get one for free and it is very welcome. Because now, nothing in here will really be able to do much against us. But as you see over there, that's the Sanctuary Guardian. We should really not try to fight that guy right away. Actually, we are not able to, since we need less. I have no idea how that actually was a surprise attack, but... Hey, it worked in my favor, so I am really not complaining. <laughs> Ooh, a ball rocket. I actually forgot about that. I really want that, so, uh, let's see, the burger heals, uh, 50. I'm gonna use the, actually, I don't really need you. It's, it's a nice item, for sure, but it's not really that great. But the ball rocket is definitely great, so I am definitely taking that. But as you see, this rope, we are not able to actually climb up it. That is, unless we actually use the pack of bubblegum. Aren't you lucky that we actually bought this guy now? And only for one dollar, too. Very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Monkey. How nice of you. You're already a lot more useful. Oh, God. Um, I don't want to do that. Nope. Yeah, as I was trying to say, the monkey is already more useful than Pokey. And, well, it's not really that... It's not really saying much, but... He is, definitely. <laughs> At least the monkey attacks. <laughs> and by the way, those mushrooms can actually hurt a little bit, so be a little bit careful. But anyway, I hate to do this, but uh, we have a fe female monkey here. And we have a male monkey with us, so of course, it's time to say goodbye to our good old friend, the bubble monkey. Kick, kick you! Now she's my type! Kick, 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 kick! I'll, I think I'll ask her for a date! Hi, Mr. Monkey. You were awesome. Thank you. I wouldn't be able to do anything without you, to be quite honest. <laughs> but anyway, remember the rumor that we heard about in school about the, uh, uh, the, uh, the cave boys? Sheesh. Yeah, these are the guys. You do not want to fight them. They will most likely kill you. That really doesn't help, though. This is the cave boy. Oh, thank God he missed. Let's see. Try. Let's try to run away, just in case. Uh oh. Okay, he's missing a lot. That is very good. I'm getting very lucky here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can try to defeat the cave boy right now, but I don't really recommend it. I, I don't really like that there's so many of them. Thankfully, you can outrun them. So try. You do not want to try to fight them. And also, this is Stonehenge. Yeah. You see that very obvious spot in the middle there? Remember that for later, because we won't be able to do anything with that yet. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. Those stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have a s you must have seen it on TV or read about it in tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. Yeah, as I said, remember that for later, because it is pretty important. But for now though, Let's go into the very obvious lab. Thank you for actually spelling that out so obviously, game. Thank you. I would never have guessed if it didn't if it didn't say that on the uh, building itself. <laughs> but now though, let's talk to this guy, Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker. Refer to you, right? And uh, not only that. What? Who? Uh, my son? I, I I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. Yep, this is Dr. Andernuts. It's been maybe 10 years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Uh, I guess, full of calories, but sure, it's a game. Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Yes, I have. I almost got my ass kicked by a cave boy, too. <laughs> well, at least I asked. Wow, you are awkward. Um, um, uh, okay, uh, uh, by the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. 
Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase disorder that can that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Sky Runner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Sky Runner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? <laughs> get in. Uh, let's get together again in uh, 10 years or so. No problem, daddy-o. <laughs> but before you go, though, it would probably be a good idea to heal up. So, it's like a good night's sleep. Awesome. But you're still hungry. Yes, I had to. Everyone does that because it is very much like the one uh, machine thing in uh, Chrono Trigger. Which, well, I think is a very nice reference. I don't think it's a reference, but we need to make it then, I guess. <laughs> but before we go, there is a... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the ruler. The ruler doesn't do squat, so I don't really care. I want this broken pipe, though. But, yeah. You saw that little round machine uh, thing with the antenna on it. That's the Sky Runner. So, uh, how about we uh, take it for a spin, shall we? I told you we were gonna fly in this episode. Uh, what happened? Uh, it's not moving. Hey, did you try pressing the button on the controller? Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I just like doing that to listen to the music a little bit more, because it is awesome. So, I'll be quiet. Oh, man, oh, man. The Skyrunner. Uh, well, I guess it took a little damage for landing. Oh, well. <laughs> you don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came here because you called me. I'm not very strong. Oh, yes, you are. Really nearsighted. Uh, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. Uh, well, this is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Of course. All right, let's get back to the journey, then. And... Jeff officially joins the rest of the party. Awesome! Though the Skyrunner seen a little... Well, better days. <laughs> Is it possible to fix? For the time being. Hmm, interesting. Now though, that we have Jeff with us, let's try the door again. Because, remember... Jeff got the bad key machine. They're opened. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> so, how about we get out of here, and in the next episode, we are going to find out what is really going on in 3. That stupid bugs! Trying to make the video longer than 
the necessary game? Thank you! <laughs> okay, fine. Paul Ice now, level 15. Offense up by 1. Speed by 2. Guts by 1. IQ by 1. HP by 1. And yes, I had to redo a couple of things because I didn't save my game. So yes, Paula is now level 15 once again. And she once again gets PSI Magnet. And Jeff is now level 10. Offense up by 1. Defense by 1. IQ by 1. HP by 1. And level 11. Wow. <laughs> Offense by 1. Defense by 1. HP by 1. Not the best, but I'm not complaining because we now have a full party. Or not really, but the teddy bear kind of counts. <laughs> So, as I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted, next time we are going to try to find out for real what is actually going on here in Threed. We already know, yes, there are zombies, there are people in garbage cans, but there's more. So, how about we find out next time? I know I said that like two times now, but I don't care. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.